Tendler out of the corner, only as far as Haynes. Tendler pinched it, Silverthorne can't backhand it to him. Pasha now takes over. And we've got a bit of pushing behind the play, Fulton and Silverthorne. Silverthorne smiling, Fulton's not, and Pasha's not happy. And Dean Smith looks like he's going to be a busy man tonight. Pasha and De Costa now having a shove, and the gloves go! And here come the punchers! De Costa swinging the right. He's landing more at the moment, but Pasha gets the takedown. We've got a feisty one. And neither team is going to back down tonight. So the Stingrays are at full strength and on the power play. Five on four. Back out for Mariani. Shooting chance, and it's gone through! Reagan got a piece of it. I'm not sure who got the final touch. But the Stingrays power play works again. Flyers win the draw, back to Muir. Lukasiewicz from the angle, it's deflected on goal! And I'm sure I've got a touch in front of Bounds. Not sure who it was that it came off, it may have been Shimon. But the Flyers have got a level, a late in the first. And indeed it has been awarded to Shimon. So Lukasiewicz and Hartung pick up the assists, an even strength goal, the Stingrays look to answer right back, Lausanne, Davis, Doucette, and it's been stopped superbly by Reagan. Lausanne spins and fires, saved again, Doucette moves it on to Davis who takes a big hit from Haynes, Davis is back to his feet and back in possession, there's still time, the backhander goes across the face of Reagan's goal. And then Doucette is tripped, there's still time for the Stingrays, can they get one out in front to get it off? They can through Davis, and with one second left, the delayed penalty goal! Reagan can't believe it. Neither can the Flyers. Neither can a lot of the Stingrays. But persistence pays, Davis, who went to the ice, Following the trip, got back up. And it's his goal with one second to go in the period. Oh, what? Face off comes back to Chilcott, whose shot was charged down. Smith scores on the turn! It just sat there beautifully for him. And he lashed it in. Lukasiewicz and Pasha go at it. And the puck comes to Cloutier. Long pass, Doucette's taken it, he's beaten the offside. Can he poke it in? He can't, but he's got a penalty. Penalty shot, perhaps. What's the call going to be? Yes, it is penalty shot. Rail's not happy. Doucette took the puck, went in and... And it looks as though he was being impeded for sure. Certainly being dragged back. So here is Guillaume Doucet. He scored some spectacular penalty shot goals in shootouts. Uh, we're not quite ready just yet. Dean Smith is ready now. So is Kevin Reagan, and so is Guillaume Doucette. And it's saved by Reagan. Tried to slide it five hole. And Reagan kept him out. So up everyone. Uh, Susan Dobby's house, the crazy crew apparently. Are enjoying this game, they'll enjoy it a lot more. If the Flyers can... Get another goal or two back. 
Fulton away from the head of Silverthorne. Shimon collects. And a lot of physical play against the boards in this game. Horn shoots again. That one's deflected up in the air and Bounce couldn't get hold of it. Shimon. Wrist shot scores! The Flyers are back into it. And Shamont's got his second. Davis across the line. Then around Haynes. Pasha. Lozon. Pasha with the shot and it's kicked away by Reagan. Don't know how much he saw of that through a crowd, but it was off his right pad. Davis, Lozon, caught up in the referee skates. Davis gloves it down. Doucette's in front! And Doucette has scored again. And make that an elite league leading 32 for the season for Guillaume Doucette. Two power play goals tonight, 12 on the season. Stewart under pressure from Smith. Mariani. Smith finishes his hit. Hartung moves it on to Lukasiewicz. Here's Stewart, trying to move into a shooting lane. Forced away by Smith, and his pass was blocked. Horns kept it in. Oh, and Pasha tried to block it, and it got away from Bounds, and the Flyers have put it in. What a scrap and what a scramble. But they've got the goal through rail. Pasha went down to his knees to try and block it, and when he couldn't, the Flyers had a 2-0. on The goal will stand, there'll be a few afters. I'm sure it was Rail that got the final touch. And I'm fairly sure some players will be heading to the penalty box following all that. Thirty-five twelve will be the time of the goal. It was just the bounce of the puck that did for Pasha. Went down to try and block it. I think he thought that if he'd done that, there may have been a breakaway, and he may have been right. But once it was past him, the Flyers had a couple of whacks at it. And in the end, it was Rail who lifted it in. We'll wait official confirmation. And we have a man apiece in the penalty box. So there are four Flyers on the ice. Looks like there are going to be five stingrays, but and there is now a two-minute penalty against the Flyers on the scoreboard. So it's been announced as Reba assisted Lukacevic. And here come the penalties. So two plus ten checking from behind on Smith. Rail gets two plus two plus ten for attempted spearing. So that's where the Stingrays get the penalty from, or the power play from, I should say. So Stingrays lead 4-3 and are on the power play for the next minute and 44. Ladigin's shot is charged down. Pasha moves it across to the far side. Davis, Doucette. Doesn't reach Ladigin. Stewart goes back around. 
Basher reaches it before it crosses the paint. Doucette collides with Horn and goes down. Play continues. Davis to Ladigin. And now Davis can bring it off the boards. Ladigin decides not to shoot. And again he goes back to Davis. And the pass across was tipped away by Fulton. And this is Da Costa moving it out. Oh, it hit the heel of Fulton and didn't get out. Could that be costly? Should have been a clearance from the Flyers. We've got 40 seconds more to kill. That one has deflected off Fulton's stick and goes to the corner. Lozone knocks it down. Fulton should get it out this time, and he does. And he's only got Ladigin. Partially blocked by Chamont. Played in by Lozone. Second time of asking. Here's Reba. Tries to spread it to Fulton. Andre got a partial block on it. It's just got a little bit scrappy. Stewart. In for Fulton. And Andre has taken it from him. Fulton fights back. And Fulton wins it back. Lovely pass out front and Bounds can't stop it. They've nudged it over the line. Not sure who got the final touch, it may have been Chamont for a hat-trick. But the Flyers have turned it round and they've got it back to 4-4. Dingrays pass themselves into trouble. Doucette holds off Stewart, then moves inside, it's great from Doucette, he's taken down from behind and that will be a penalty for sure. And they are not happy, the Stingrays players and the Stingrays fans, they will get the power play. But it was Doucette's strength on the boards to get away from Stewart. And he moved between the face-off circles and was taken down. And we wait to see what the penalty call is going to be. Stewart you know, did well, in fairness, to hustle back into the play. And he's the guilty man. Doucette, who scored twice, missed the penalty shot. Always a threat whenever he's on the puck. Such good hands, such speed. Ladigin and Pasha control the blue line. Here is Pasha. Doucette. There's Lozone. Pasha. Cross for Davis. And Ladigin. Home crowd offer their encouragement. Davis. Pasha under pressure. It'll come around to Law's own. Back to Davis. Still a minute and 20 for the Sting Race to work with. Law's own. Spinning and shooting is do said, and it was deflected wide. He came off horn. Law's own. Blocked by rail and cleared away by Horn. Ladigin takes it across the blue line. He's carried it a long way. And he's got it to Carl Lozon. Davis across, Pasha. Lozon, Lozon's found a spot! And he's ripped it over the shoulder. And it's another power play goal. And the Stingrays are in front once more. Silverthorne. Stingrays have got it out of the zone. Cloutier's pass got blocked and reached Haynes. Stingrays nearly getting in each, own, each other's own way. Silverthorne around and Tendler doesn't get it across the line. You should do this time. Although the hit comes in, and it was high from Reba. Interference is the call, in fact, as Tendler lost his helmet. And that is not what the Flyers needed. They're now going to go short-handed. 
and that could be a killer for them. 2.25 on the clock. That's it, Shimon who's gone into the penalty box. And still a few players having words. And it looks as though, I think, Stewart and Silverthorne are going to get sent to the penalty box. That would be unnecessary with so little time to go in the game. And it looks as though Fulton and Shimon are done for the day. And so is Jason Silverthorne. And here comes the official call. So there's the initial interference call on Reba for the hit on Tendler, which caused Tendler to lose his helmet. That's the initial two minute interference, which is on the penalty. 10 minutes for abuse of official on Bobby Chamon. And Fulton gets 10 minutes for unsportsmanlike conduct. Chamont, abuse of official. Fulton, unsportsmanlike conduct. And Silverthorne also gets unsportsmanlike conduct. So. So, 44 seconds left. 19 on the power play, and the Stingrays have won the draw. Gomenyuk behind the goal. Cloutier can't win it. It's with the Flyers. They're across the line and Hartung. They've got a chance with Lukasevich. Mariani blocks his shot. De Costa's got it. Net is empty. Final 20 seconds. It's six on five. Reagan's on the bench for the extra attacker and it's tied up in the corner. And the Stingrays want to keep it there. Comes around to the far side. It'll reach De Costa. Have the Flyers got a miracle left in them? Hartung's pass is blocked by Ladigin. Can they get it in front for one final shot? I don't think they can. Bounds makes the save as time expires. And the whole Stingrays claim two crucial conference points. It's a four-point weekend and they will move into sixth place in the table.